on today's show, Understanding 2D Sonar. But first, before we get started, take a few minutes, check out our YouTube channel, Wicked Outdoor Adventures TV. Hit that subscribe button. We offer a wide range of videos from hunting to fishing to electronics, lifestyle, health, and travel. Please check our channel out. Smash that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. Most anglers are somewhat familiar with their fish finders, but many do not understand how fish finder technology works and learning how to use your fish finder will allow you to utilize your fish finder's full capabilities and help you catch more fish. Modern fish finders use sonar pulses to map out the area directly below and surrounding the boat. The sonar pulses are interpreted by specialized hummingbird software and then relayed to a digital display or your unit on the dash for your anglers to see. The transducer does most of the work. It is an underwater transmitter that sends out electronic sound pulses or pings into the water. Shooting a cone down, like an ice cream cone to the bottom, keep in mind, this cone at the widest part at the base on the bottom of the floor of the water will be about one third of your water depth. So if you're in 60 foot of water, the cone is going to be about 20 feet wide. These pulses bounce off a fish and the bottom and then reflect back to the transducer. The transducer receives this information and relays it back to the head unit. This estimates the size and the depth of any objects below the fisherman. The Hummingbird Helix series offers a number of color patterns available to the angler. The bar is seen only on the right side of the 2D only screen. The color bar is unique to Hummingbird and is the only manufacturer that includes this very important issue, uh, feature on fish finders. The water is a three-dimensional body of water that is being pressed flat into a two-dimensional image. Fish that are not next to each other in the water column will appear to be close to each other on the screen due to overlapping of the echo return arches on the fish finder. The color bar has a range of colors based on the palette chosen. I choose palette color number five. At the very bottom in the color that represents softer, less dense, less meat. The color at the very top presents harder, denser, more meat. The remaining colors in between represent a range from bottom to top, less to more. There is a reason that these colors have three terms. When referring to the bottom of the water's bottom, we refer to it either as a soft or hard return bottom. We refer to the colors shown in echo returns, we refer to them as less dense to dense. Finally, when we are referring to the fish that the echo returns archers represent, we refer to these fish as having less meat or most meat. Catfish will always have the elevated a cobra shaped arc on the 2D screen. The hard, wide head of a catfish returns the echo more quickly than the softer, thinner tail and draws the arc on the screen as an elevated arch with a steep angle or drop. Some fish will not completely be within the sonar arm, therefore will not be shown on the screen as a complete arch. In some cases, it is possible to tell the difference using the factors and skills you just learned. You can also scroll down to your 2D, uh, your uh, down imaging, and zoom in to get a better detail on the fish. It is very common here in Tennessee to see overlapping species in a water column. Stripers, white bass, crappie, catfish often refer and stay in the same general areas. Time and experience of learning your fish finder will allow you to better identify fish on your 2D sonar. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Here is my email address. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Until next time, tight lines.